guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is morning. We just finished milking the girls. If you are new here, I'm Taylor and I work on a dairy farm in Maine. You probably couldn't tell that by all the cows moving in the background. But um, so thank you guys for joining us so much. If you're new, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe because that helps us out a lot. Today we're going to be doing something really exciting. We're going to be letting the girls out to pasture for the first time since November. So November, December, January, February, March. About six and a half months since they've been out on pasture last. It's usually six months in pasture, six months off pasture because Maine has really cold fall and a really cold winter obviously as well. So they don't get to go out to pasture very much, but when they do, they really, really enjoy it. So today is the day we're going to be letting them out and I'm really excited because they get super happy. They run and they jump and they act just crazy and it's really fun to see them enjoy themselves. They're really excited to see what they do and just can't wait to see their reactions to that. So. We gotta go out back and open up a few gates before we let them out. Uh, Brent is in the milk room finishing up and cleaning things. Brent is my boss, if you are new here. Um, the reason we took a little longer this morning, you can tell they're screaming and they're not exactly happy, was we did want to put some cream on their udder. They're gonna be going outside in the wind and stuff like that, and they can get windburn and sunburn. So we do like to put some stuff on their udder. Now, what we usually do is, is we usually just try to get their teats really well, and then we also try to get the back of their udder where they would get sun. Make sure that they're nice and lubed up so that they don't get any sunburn, also don't get chapped teats because that can be really uncomfortable for them. It can make it really hard to milk them because if they're uncomfortable, they don't want you touching them obviously. So we do make sure that we put stuff on them. What we used today was we used this Kenag Udder Cream. It's for all weather, you can use it in sun and cold and wind. And it keeps them from getting burned and keeps them from getting chapped. The only stuff you can't really use is bag bomb because it has some sort of oil in it that if you put it on their udder and they go outside it literally like draws the sun in and burns them to a crisp so you cannot use that we stay away from that at all costs in the summer and we only we typically buy this because it's really good sometimes we use the um dr nailers that works good as well but this stuff comes in a really really big container so it's just really simple and easy so anyway let's go open those gates and let the girls out i can't wait to see their reaction all right so first things first, we gotta make sure that their water to their tank out back is turned on. So we turn that on right here. Oh, it's already on, Brent must have turned it on. And we turn off the water to the barn when their girls aren't inside, so um, just so we don't have any pipes burst or anything. Okay, so we're out back right now. Brent is gonna come out and open up the gates. Um, I'm just out here trying to figure out a place to set up so that you guys can see the girls go out. I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do because they've been out here on the pad for like a month and a half, close to two months. So they're not gonna be really excited about going out. They might not notice the gate being open immediately and I'm really interested to see if they notice right off that the gate to the pasture is open or if it takes them a while to notice that it's open and then they'll get excited about it. Sorry for the buzzing, that's the light that we can't figure out how to get it shut off. Uh, I think the sensor's going on it so it won't shut off but somebody's peeking at me. Hi Candy, what you doing? Are you excited to go out? Are you going to go eat grass? Yep. She doesn't act really excited. This walkway is cut off right here. You can see where the grass doesn't really grow, where they walk through it all the time. But then this side grows really well. So we have that sectioned off and it goes down and runs around that pond down there. So the only way they can get to this side is by walking all the way around the pond. They go down and cross that bridge over there that just goes over a river and they go all the way around here. So we do have water in there, an automatic water tank there because they shouldn't have to walk all the way around to get back to this tank because that's just too far. So we do have a water tank in there for them so they can drink out there. Time to open, open the roller gate 5,000. <laughs> Patent pending. It's a pretty clever invention, I have to admit. Uh -huh. Works good too. Yep. <laughs> Unless you roll over your foot. <laughs> there. They finished that whole salt block again. Oh, they ate two of them. No time. Put this back so they can get in this area where you need it. Supposed to let the cows in or mow it. So the drainage, well, they can get in there. It's pretty high right there, isn't it? Yeah. So we ready? That's three canary, I think. Looks like it. Well. So are we ready? Ready, girls? 
Go have fun. Greta, I'll tell you a secret. The gate is open, okay? Be the first one. Happy? Run away, run away. You might tote us back. <laughs> they look happy. <laughs> Silly. Hi, Maggie. So not nearly as much excitement as anticipated. Uh huh? What? Not nearly as excited as I thought they'd be. Like I said, they're two days old in dirt, so. <laughs> Most of them are like, woohoo, I've only done this 20 times. Indeed. Awesome, guys. Thanks. What you doing? She said, I don't know. She needs to lose that winter coat. Go in here. Looking a little shaggy. I think I'll go eat some of this stuff. <laughs> they haven't even ventured anywhere near the bottom. Nope. Nobody's even crossed over to the nope. other pasture yet. I mean, they probably won't today. I bet they'll stay right in there. As long as they're happy. Yeah. Hey, they'll be closer and we won't have to chase them so much. <laughs> this true. Tonight. You got the wheeler though. That's true. Thank goodness you got a four-wheeler. I wouldn't want to chase them all the way around that pasture. Okay, so the girls are outside. They seem to be enjoying themselves. They're not moving much from one spot. But they'll probably stay out all day until about 3 o'clock, which is usually when they start heading back because they know it's pretty close to milking time. But we got the barn clean. We didn't scrape the walk or anything. We did hoe out the stalls and run the cleaner. We just have to bed it before they come in tonight, um, which is what we're about to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching them go out to pasture. Um, I really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. Um, please don't forget to like and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.